Hey there! Today I'm going to show you a puzzle designed by Dr. Volker Latusek. The name of the puzzle is Fermat meets Fuller. It is Volker's latest design which was released by Pelican a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, the puzzle is already sold out and you can't buy it. But that means that you can watch my video till the very end and see how I'm struggling to figure out the solution of this puzzle. This is not my first attempt to solve this puzzle, since unlike many puzzlers, they saw this puzzle first a couple of weeks ago at Pelican's website. I had a chance to uh, play with this puzzle like a half a year ago, since sometimes I'm testing latest uh, Dr. Volker Latusek's designs and Fermat meets Fuller was one of them. He sent me the STL file for my 3D printer and I played it with it for a while, but didn't succeed and didn't find the solution and I was waiting for the wooden version of the puzzle to try to solve it again. As I already mentioned, the Fermat Meets Fuller is already sold out at Pelican's website. There is a slight chance that it will be available at Puzzle Master's uh, shop in a couple of weeks or maybe months, but I'm not sure. Anyways, if you like how this puzzle looks and you want to see my attempt to solve it, Keep watching the video. And now I'll try to solve the Fermat meets Fuller. Finally, I have a wooden version of this puzzle, which is precisely made. As I mentioned a couple of times, sometimes I'm testing new puzzles designed by Dr. Volker Latusek when he sends me STL files for his new designs. And he sent me Fermat meets Fuller probably like six or seven months ago. The main goal was to find if there are easy solutions and I didn't find a single easy solution for this puzzle, but that was not the first prototype. It was like second or third, I don't remember. But I didn't find the intentional solution either. And the problem was with my 3D printing skills. You know that usually <laughs> I'm not very good at 3D printing, even though I own a 3D printer. And uh, I wasn't able to find the solution, probably because the 3D printed parts, they have this texture, which you can feel with your finger or fingernail and when the wooden piece is made it doesn't have this uh, texture it is very smooth and when you want to rotate some pieces this rough texture of the 3d printed piece usually doesn't allow you to do some moves but the wooden pieces are much more precisely made and that uh, will be a little bit easier to figure out solution so first of all as always, Dr. Volker Latusek pays a lot of attention to the appearance of the puzzle. It comes like so from the box. You have to remove two pieces and then you have to remove four other parts. And I guess I have to flip it upside down to remove the first piece and then try to remove the rest of the parts. Oh, that is not easy. Okay, the first goes out. And I guess straight from the very beginning you can see what kind of moves you can do here since you can rotate these triangles inside oh it is difficult to remove the pieces from the box oh my god it's like a puzzle in a puzzle how to remove the piece oh finally finally i was able to rotate this piece and remove it oh okay and now i have to remove three more but these are gonna be easy to remove Ooh, okay, first part of the puzzle is solved. I was able to remove all parts from the frame. Now, the interesting part. Since I already mentioned, I tried to solve this puzzle before, but I didn't find the solution. So the pieces, they are, first of all, all exactly the same. As you can see, they have the same height, the same length of the sides, but there are four parts that are exactly the same size but two parts that are a little bit thicker and a little bit thinner and that's make it very difficult to solve since it will be very easy to fit six parts inside of the same size but when two of them especially this one is too big and as soon as you put it inside you can't uh, fit any other parts in another interesting fact about the puzzle is that you can't fit the triangle like so inside as you can see it is a little bit uh, bigger than the opening you can only put it like so or you can rotate it and put it in a different way the other quite interesting part which i'm going to show you on my 3d printed copy is when you put all parts inside 
As you can see, they don't fit tight uh, on the bottom. They have some space between parts and that makes a little bit room for moving the pieces inside and to, to remove them. So now let's try to figure out how to put them inside. The first assembling was like so when four pieces were inside and as soon as I put this piece on top it will be already uh, not possible to put inside since if I put small piece inside and then try to put this one on top it will be a little bit taller and it's not gonna fit under the lips of the frame so you have to figure out another way so let's see if this is not the correct assembling then it means that I have to remove one of the parts fit another instead of it and then do something like so or maybe like so or maybe there is another approach i can fit the parts in the corners let's see this goes in here this goes in here oh another quite interesting fact about this puzzle is when you put the triangle like so it doesn't fit as you can see it is a little bit higher than the lip of the frame and that doesn't count as the correct placement of the piece all of them supposed to be below the lips of the frame so if i put two pieces like so or maybe i can even try to do something oh i can fit one two three parts and if i try to put the bigger one here then the small one on top this goes here and this goes here and Probably I will be able to remove this piece somehow since it has some room to... Oh, maybe I can even flip it this way. And then I can try to remove it. Okay, let's try to put them aside and fit everything inside the frame. I think that I'm going to start with the biggest piece. That goes inside. What if I try to fit this one? Ooh! Okay. Then I put the small piece on top. And what do I have next? Uh, yeah, I won't be able to fit this piece inside. I can't rotate it inside. Even if I find a way how to squeeze it in, I won't be able to rotate it and put it flat okay since my previous idea wasn't correct something like so i have to oh maybe i can put them inside like no no no. that they're, they're not gonna fit inside this way okay what if i try to put them like so to here and to here and oh that might look interesting and then i can try to squeeze this piece on top uh, i don't think it will be possible but let's let's try so if this piece goes in the corner again i'm starting with the bigger piece i don't know why but i think it is the correct approach okay then the other part okay now it is in but i don't think i will be able to fit the rest of the parts inside yeah that will be quite a challenge it is not enough just a little bit of space i can push it very hard and squeeze the piece in but then i won't be able to remove it for sure or maybe no 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 no, no. oh okay that's a good sign uh yeah but the last one i won't be able to fit inside okay yeah that's definitely was a wrong approach yeah the biggest issue here is that i can't well, when there are three parts inside i can't rotate the last one 
I know that you don't have uh, this opportunity and many other puzzlers who will be solving the puzzle don't have this opportunity either, but I'm just curious if it is even possible to perform this rotation. So if the piece is inside, I can rotate when there are no parts inside. Yeah, but I can't rotate when there are three more parts in. Mm. Okay. And there is no way how I can... Yeah, as you can see, I can't even remove them from this position. So that is not the correct one. Mm, but I thought it will be. Mm, that is quite interesting. I don't remember if I tried this approach. Let's see if I put two parts like so. And I try to put two more parts on top. That might look interesting. This goes here. Ah, yeah, but then I won't be able to fit the small piece inside. Probably I can try to put it right now. And then figure out the way how to fit the last piece. But uh, again, that is not possible. If these two on the bottom, it gives me a little bit of space here for the piece. Oh, wow, maybe, maybe this is it. Let's see what, or maybe this is the correct approach. That might be interesting. Okay, let's try. I'll put this part inside. I have to put two parts in the opposite corner. One goes here, another will go the other side. Yeah, that looks good. Now I have to put one piece. Oh, I already have an issue with putting another piece. It just doesn't fit. Oh, no, it fits. The last piece will go inside. Oh, okay, okay, let's see. Let's see if it is possible. This goes inside right now and the last piece will be this one and i can fit it like so i can't rotate it i can't rotate it it is not enough space to put it here it is not enough space to rotate the part ah that was so close What if I start with the bigger one and then try to put the smaller one in the corner? Doesn't seem possible. Oh, but I can do it like so. What if I try to do, oh, Euclid for kids. I guess this move was in that puzzle. Okay, these two fit nicely, but what will be the next move? How to fit the next piece? <laughs> I can't fit it on top. Oh, but I can put it below this part. Oh, let's try. Ah, that is hard. I guess I have to flip it. Oop, okay. These are in. How to put the small piece inside. It will be interesting. I don't think it will be possible now. 
Oh, but maybe I can put it inside like so and then try to lift this up. Uh, again, I have to rotate the box. Sorry, you can't see what is happening. Okay, please be the solution. I have two more parts left and I can't fit them inside. Maybe it's not, oh, <gasps> it fits. Oh, please. And the last one, ha, <laughs> done, finally. <gasps> Oh my God. That was a very difficult puzzle to solve. As always, Volker did a great job designing the puzzle. And as always, the puzzle has a couple of tricky moves and rotations that are very difficult to find. And I tried my 3D printed version of the puzzle after solving the wooden version and didn't succeed in putting the parts inside. So my 3D printing skills are not as good as Pelican's woodworking skills and that's all for me for today by the way my friend greg from puzzle wanderer channel will be in prague at the end of the next week and he will stay in my apartment for a couple of days let me know if you want to see him in my video or maybe you have some ideas of a collaboration video that we can do together write them in the comments thank you for watching hit the like button subscribe and see you in my next video